there are four inch holes on the concrete floor of our barn. We're using this bandsaw to cut our pipe. The pieces that we cut are for the bases of our posts. Our pipe is a little bit small, so we're gonna shim it with quarter inch bolts. Now we have to weld them together. Hopefully the sims will make it fit better. And we're gonna put it in the bucket and make it cool down. We're gonna cut eight inch squares for, from this plate to cap the pipe. Then we can anchor it to the concrete. The combination square works nice for marking the lines. Using the pencil because we can't find the chalk. It helps to lean your elbow on the bench to steady the cut. Marking our holes to center punch them before we use our drill. We are using the drill press to make half inch holes for our concrete anchors. Maintain the pressure so that your bit keeps cutting. If it stops cutting, it'll just stall it. We've ground and beveled the end of our pipe. Now we're going to weld the plate to the end of it. Pull it down so we can work with it. Let's see if it's gonna fit. It fits perfect. We cut and drilled some angle iron so we could weld it to our posts. This will anchor it to the ceiling. We're going to weld two to the top of each post. This end of the pipe goes in that hole and then we'll stand it up and dry fit it. We use a pump up to line up our header. Now we have to level the post. The post is plumb now. We'll secure the top of the post with leg bolts. We we'll use 3 8 concrete anchors at the bottom. We're going to draw pirate holes so the wood doesn't split. We're putting the bolts in with a quarter inch impact driver.
We're positioning our second post to give us a four foot gate opening. Base the chicken pan is clean and they have fresh straw. Now we're going to give them some feed. The post project in our barn is part of a larger multi-step renovation project. With the post in place, we now have something secure to fasten the fence rails and gates to to make a pen for our sheep. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video.